ओके राइट डाउन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी एक्चुअली यू नो एनर्जी इज अ कैपेसिटी ऑफ बीइंग वर्क हाउ टू डिफाइन इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी डेफिनेशन राइट डाउन इट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क इट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क और यू कैन इट इज मेजर्ड बाय द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन इट इज मेजर्ड बाय द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन to move a charge q to move a charge q capital q capital q through through work PD done by g, work done by difference g which is the work done by work done by so work done so work done by work done by write on the formula of electrical energy electrical energy Vq. Actually, uh, potential difference formula. If you remember, it was as the W by Q. Yes. Therefore, W will be Vq. W means what? Okay. Okay. Uh, this work done is equal to the energy. Once again, what is, this, so what was the? Difference? I think you need to make some correction in the uh, this definition. Uh, electrical energy is measured by the amount of work done to move. Have you written that to move a charge Q? Have you written that to move a charge? Please read the definition once. Then I'll no, correct sir. you. Then please. So can you repeat the whole definition? Please read. Thank you, Mr. Hello. Yes, boy. Please read. Okay, can you repeat? To move a charge Q by. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, yes sir. Yes, hello. So you can hear us. Hello. I can hear you clearly. Sir, sir, sir. Bye. Sir, sir. Bye. Sir. Please read that. Yes, yes, sir. Please repeat the definition. So can you repeat? Okay. It is the. Uh, it is measured by the amount of work done to move a charge Q. To move a charge Q through a PD G through a potential difference G. Okay. Complete. Okay. So V. Therefore, I think energy electric field. Capital V, capital V, capital V. Write down V equal to V. Through a PD V, potential difference V, capital V. Write down the electric energy formula because V into Q. If V as it is, and we know the formula I is equal to current is equal to charge upon the time. Therefore, Q value will come cross multiply I T. Instead of Q, I write as I T. So this is the formula of electrical energy. Electrical energy formula we have E equal to V I T. What is V? Voltage or potential difference. I is current and T is time. Continuation of formula we can add V is equal to we can add I R. Ohm's law formula V equal to I R. If I put the value here, I R into I become I square R T. So this is another formula of electrical energy. This formula is used. For producing heat, heat, heat produced by current. This is the formula of heat produced by current. Next formula we can go. I value we can put V by R. So the formula will become V squared by R T. This is another form of electric energy. One can be derived from the other. This is the basic one. E equal to V Q. Q value is put I T. Now I V value is put I R. I will get this one. No, I put I value V by R, V into V become V squared by R T. So each formula is different from the other. This formula is in terms of voltage, current, and R is not coming. The resistance is not coming. This formula we are having voltage not coming, V not coming, current is coming. This formula is in terms of voltage, resistance, and time. Current not coming here. Current not coming. As for the given information, we can write down the formula. I mean, we can choose one of these formulas as for the given information. 
If current not given, I use this formula. If voltage not given, I use this formula. If resistance not given, I use this formula. Like that. Okay, now write down below. Write below this. The SI unit of the SI standard unit, the SI unit, the SI unit of SI unit of electrical energy is electrical SI unit of electrical energy is SI unit of electrical energy is joules. Right on here, joules. Joules. SI unit of electrical energy is joules. And and its commercial unit is and its commercial unit commercial unit is kilowatt hour kwh kilowatt hour its commercial unit is kwh no cgs unit is r we don't bother cgs unit here cgs unit of hello Sir, I can't hear you. Okay. Commercial unit is kilowatt hour. It is like that. Then you write below that one kilowatt hour, one kWh is equal to three point six into ten to the power of six joules. This is the value. One kilowatt hour is equal to three point six into ten to the power of six joules. This is the value. This is the value. One kilowatt hour is equal to three point six into ten to the power of six joule. Okay. This thing you have done in the chapter energy also you have done work power energy chapter also I gave you this. Okay. One thing to keep in mind: one kilowatt hour is one unit. Two kilowatt hour is two unit. And we pay the bill according to the unit consumption. The charge of one unit is nearly six rupees. So if you consume 100 units, then your bill will come 600. One kilowatt hour is one unit of electrical energy. Okay, I mean electricity bill, one unit. Uh, one year in the ICC, they had asked this question. We pay electricity bill for consuming hot, for consuming four options, for consuming current, voltage, power or energy. For what do we pay the bill? For consuming what do we pay the bill? Tell me, what is the answer? Vol uh, energy. energy, this kilowatt hour. Energy. Yes. Used. For, consu for consuming energy only we pay the bill, yes. That is why in your, uh, at home you will be having electric meter. There is a meter, no? The person comes, sees the meter and charges the bill and your bill amount comes and you pay the bill. So, the bill is paid. The bill is paid uh, on the basis of this kilowatt hour, on the uh, basis of energy consumption. Okay, so just keep in mind, for consuming energy, we pay the bill. Not for consuming current, not for consuming voltage, or not for anything else. We are paying the bill for consuming energy. I think this is done. Now, the next part, we write on electrical energy. It's on electrical power. Now, next one, next heading is electrical power. Electrical power denoted by P, denoted by P. Give the heading electrical power. Electrical power. Please write down. Electrical power. Heading is electrical power now. Okay. What is electrical power? That it is the rate of consumption. It is the rate, RAT, it is the rate of consumption of it is the rate of consumption of electrical energy. It is the rate, RAT, it is the rate of consumption of electrical energy. Okay, write down formula of power. Power formula we will have energy upon the time. It is, it is the rate, RAT, it is the, it is the rate, RAT, it is the rate of consumption of electrical energy. Okay. Clear? Yes, sir. It is the rate of consumption of electrical energy. Therefore, write power formula as energy by the time. This is the formula of power. Electrical power formula is energy by the time. 
or if there is a need we can add energy is equal to power into time cross multiply energy is equal to power into time we can do if there is a need we can write energy is equal to cross multiply power into time we can do that p into t okay now let us continue for hello hello what is the formula first formula of energy first formula of energy is vi you know vi t by time i divide answer is only vi so power formula is vi just write down this next one you write power is equal to v value i r energy formula is i square t the second formula the formula the answer now will become i square r and the third formula become v square by r these are the formulas of power energy formula whatever you have no divided by time you will get power you will get power or the simple yeah, method yeah, is you know you learn the formula yes simple method is you learn the formula of power power formula one formula you learn power formula is v into i v i power is equal to v i the energy will be just multiplied by time v i t this will become energy value become i square r t because in uh, power is, energy is equal to power into time so you get the value of energy if you multiply by time so learn one formula then other you can derive yourself so please write down p equal to v square by r these are the formulas okay anything not clear please ask me boys if you think anything is not clear to you please ask for the clarification Is it okay, yes, sir? Okay. Yes, sir. Now write down the yes, A unit of. Okay, okay. Please write down the A unit of power is the A unit of power is the A unit of power is watt W A T T watt denoted by capital W denoted by capital W. Whereas the other units are, whereas the other units are, whereas the other units are kilowatt. I think we have done it before also. Kilowatt, megawatt, gigawatt, etc. You have done all this in the chapter work power energy chapter. Second chapter you have done all this. I will not repeat the same. One kilowatt means how much watt? One thousand watt. One megawatt means ten to the power of six watt. That means. 10 lakh watt. One gigawatt is 10 to the power of 9 watt. All these we have done. All these we have done. Okay. Okay. Understood. Okay. Now write down. you know in every bulb if we are having a bulb or any electrical appliance we are having a bulb here like if there is a bulb in every electric device you no know, they mention two things minimum two things they must they mention they mention voltage value and the value of power they mention so this bulb is supposed to be at 250 volt or 100 watt like this is written That means we say that the power of this bulb is 100 watt. We say that 100 watt bulb. We have 60 watt bulb. We got 20 watt bulb. We have 9 watt bulb. Nowadays LEDs are there. So LEDs power consumption is low, or that is energy consumption is also low. So we are going for uh, going for 8 watt or 9 watt or maybe 12 watt and all we are going for. So it is much economical, much more cheaper than the normal bulb. Okay. So, but the question is, a bulb is marked 250 volt from a 100 watt. What is the meaning of this statement? What is the meaning of this statement? If the question is like this, then what is the answer? Now, first, let me tell that I dictate. Okay, this statement means the bulb can withstand. Which statement can tolerate? The bulb can withstand a maximum voltage of 250 volt. And at this voltage, it will consume a power of 100 watt. It will consume a power of 100 watt. This is the meaning. What is the meaning? You know, safety. 
which provides safety to the appliance. Your voltage in no way should exceed 250 volts. If the value of voltage is more than 250 volts, the bulb will definitely fuse. So that is one idea you have that how much is the safe voltage for this bulb. You can keep the voltage lesser than this value. This is the maximum value voltage. You can keep less, so bulb will not get damaged. You must have seen sometimes you know that at home and all, due to some fault and or short circuit, the voltage becomes very high. And uh, many of the bulbs and electrical devices or gadgets get damaged. They get damaged. Why? Because there is a maximum limit of tolerating the voltage. If the voltage is more than that value, the appliance will get damaged. So please write down what is statement with the inverted comma. Write down a bulb is marked. A bulb is marked. M A R K D. A bulb is marked. A bulb is marked. 100 uh, 250 volt comma 100 watt. M A R K E D mark. M A R K E D mark. A bulb is marked. 250 volt from 100 volt. 100 watt. Put the sentence under in comma single inverted comma. Write down. This statement means. This statement means. This statement means that. This statement means that the bulb can, this statement means that the bulb can, the bulb can withstand, the bulb can withstand a maximum voltage, the bulb can withstand, the bulb can withstand a maximum voltage, <coughs> maximum voltage of 250 volt, 250 volt. 250 volt and at this voltage and at this voltage at this voltage it will consume a power of it will consume a power of it will consume a power of 100 watt 100 watt that is the meaning of this statement okay done Okay, now continue. Next paragraph to write down. The resistance of the filament of the bulb. The resistance of the filament of the bulb. The resistance of the filament of the bulb. The resistance of the filament of the bulb in on position. In on position. In on position. O and on position, O capital N you can add with inverted comma, on position like this. On position can be calculated as follows, can be calculated as follows. Okay, now how can we find the resistance of the filament of the bulb? Let us find out. We have power given and we have voltage given. We have to find R. Can you select a formula to find resistance R? I have given you the list of formulas. Look at the power formula. Which, which is the suitable formula to use this information and find A? Power equals to V square by R. Power is equal to V square by R. V equal to V square by R. That is correct. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. Write down here. E equal to V square by R. Please read that formula as per the information. Power value is 100. Voltage value is 250, I'll add 250 into 250. R is resistance, we will cancel 0, 0 will go, 0 will go, R value is coming, 25 into 25, the answer is coming 625 ohms. This answer, R value is coming 625 ohms. Done? Sir, closed. Open means closed. Excuse me, sir, on means closed. No. Open means closed. Uh, on is closed. If question talks about key, no, they will say close key, that is on. Open key, off position. I have used the word on only, so why to use? Close and open is the word used when there are keys. Keys are used, okay. Plus key is used, then only we use that. At home we are using switches, no, so there is no question of 
closing and opening there. Switch is on, switch is off that way. Okay. Now, write down below that the maximum current, the maximum current, write down below it the maximum current that can flow through the bulb. The maximum current that can flow through the bulb, just below this right, the maximum current that can flow through the bulb can be calculated, can be calculated, can be calculated as follows, can be calculated as follows, can be calculated as follows. How can you find the current flowing through the bulb, maximum current at this voltage? How do you find the value of current? Okay, which formula you use? V equals V. Equal to VI. VI. Very good. Yes. Use that formula. Right? P is equal to VI. Very good. Power value you can put here 100. Voltage is 250. And I is unknown. Therefore, I value will become 100 by 250. We are cancelling it. 5 to the 500. 2 by 5 divide. I'm sorry. 0 0.4 ampere. 0 0.4 ampere. I value 0 0.4 ampere. Current value will come 0 0.4 ampere. Okay. Done. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes. Ah. Can we use? Sir, can we use the formula P is equal to V square by R? P equal to V square by R. We are getting R value. Then P is equal to I square by R. P is equal to I square P, into R. P, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can use that because now R is known. We can use that and find the value pi. Answer will come the same. Yes. But after finding R, after finding R only, we can do that. But without finding R, if you have to do it directly, from this information, you can find directly P equal to V I and find the value of I. Your, uh, okay, so good. Are are accurate. Accurate. So good. Yes? Both are accurate. Both are correct if you use any way, so we will get yes, right. Yes, both of them sure? are correct. Or... So can you show so, it? What to show? You can even use a simple formula V equal to I R and find the value of I. You will get the same answer. V equal to I R after finding R. If you use that, I will use that formula V equal to I R and I will get the same. V voltage is how much? 250. Current I want to find. Resistance is how much? 625. This will come down. 250 by 625 is the value of I. Cancel on. 25 10 are 25 25 then 5 to the 5 5 the 2 by 5 10 no same answer is coming same answer will come yes or no or even you use the formula p equal to i square r then also you will get the same answer coming power value is how much 100 i we have to find r is 625 100 by 625 is the value of i square, square will go, root will come, this will come 10, this will come 25, is the value of i, cancel 5, 2 is the 5, 5 is the 2 by 5, same thing will come, no. Either of the method you can use and you get 7. But I am saying from this in, uh, marking of direct information, how can we calculate the value of current directly, so the direct formula, simple formula will go for P equal to VI, and then we have the Understood? Yes. Okay, now yes. write down below this. Okay, write below the energy consumed. Energy consumed. Energy consumed by energy consumed by the bulb. Energy consumed by the bulb. In a given time. Energy consumed by the bulb in a given time, in a given time, right under bracket, right under bracket, I just take one example, 20 hours, just right under bracket, 20 hours. In a given time at 20 hours, 20 hours can be calculated as follows, can be calculated as follows, can be calculated as follows. Write down. Energy we are finding now, energy is equal to 
Which one will you apply now to find identity? Tell me. No, no, you are finding the energy can be mentioned by the bulb. Which one will you apply? V I square R T. Okay, I if you use that formula, then also you get the answer. I can any formula to be done. Wait, wait, wait. But I want to. Ah, yes. I want to use a direct formula from this information. Direct formula, okay? No indirect formula. Direct formula I want to use. Power is no, no, yes, power is given, power is 100 watt, I write energy is equal to power into 10, this one. First formula, power is equal to E by P, therefore E is equal to P into P, cross multiply, that formula I will choose. I will prefer that, that one, it's easy. That is the most easy formula, I mean easiest. Now I put the value, power is how much, 100 watt, I write 100 watt. Time is given how many hours? 20 hours. Just multiply. Power and time just directly multiply, you get energy value. Direct. Power into time this energy. Your answer will come here. 2000. This is coming watt hour. 2000. W and H also multiply. It becomes watt hour. But we will change so like into kilowatt hour. hour. Yes? Kilowatt hour. 2 kilowatt hour. hour. Very good. You are dividing by 1000 here. Yes. 2 divided by 1000 kilowatt hour. That is, this will go, answer will come 2 kilowatt hour. How much is the energy consumption? How many units? We say 2 kilowatt hour. If you have to pay the bill at the rate of rupees 6 per unit, how much rupees you have to pay for consuming this? 6 into 2, that is 12 rupees. Yes. 12 rupees is your bill, bill amount, amount of the bill. That is, these two things are very informative. From here, directly we can find resistance, we can find current, maximum current, we can find the energy consumption by the appliance. We can easily find. These three things we can find out easily. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now write down definition of 1 kilowatt hour. Please write down definition of 1 kilowatt hour. Definition of 1 kilowatt hour. I will give a proper definition of 1 kilowatt hour. 1 kilowatt hour. 1 kilowatt hour. You can kilowatt hour and time. No. One hour, right on. So you are it is the energy. It is the energy. This right on. It is the energy. It is the energy consumed. It is the energy. An electric appliance. It is consumed by an electric appliance. So then repeat. Electric appliance. It is the energy consumed by an electric appliance. It is the energy consumed by an electric appliance. Electric appliance of one kilowatt of one kW, one kilowatt of one kilowatt of one kilowatt. When used for one hour, 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 write on that. It is the amount of energy consumed by an electric appliance of one kilowatt when used for one hour. Okay? So that is how we can define one kilowatt hour. In one kilowatt hour, the Power value will be 1 kilowatt and time value will be 1 hour. 1 kilowatt we can add as 1000 watt also. 1000 watt also. What should I repeat? Tell me I repeat. No, this definition. Definition of 1. It is the energy consumed. It is the energy consumed by. It is the energy consumed by an electric appliance of 1 kilowatt. 
electric appliance of 1 kilowatt when used for 1 hour when used when used for 1 hour when used for 1 hour done finish yes sir yes, sir okay i just give an example can you guess <laughs> suppose we are having a bulb of 100 watt we are having one bulb of 100 watt and uh, for how many hours we should use continuously so that the energy consumption is 1 kilowatt hour or energy consumption is 1 unit how many hours should we use Can you guess? Hours. One. 10 one hours hour. yes Ten. 10 hours 100 watt into 10 when you multiply answer will come 1000 watt hour 1000 watt hour is same as 1 kilowatt hour 1000 into 1 kilowatt then your unit V will come 1 kilowatt hour suppose you got 100 bulbs 100 watt bulbs but there are 5 bulbs there are 5 bulbs for how many hours we should use to consume 1 unit of energy can you tell me the answer there are 5 bulbs each of 100 watt 2 hours two hours because 100 watt, there are 5 bus, the total power value is 500 watt. Yes, you are correct, very good. 500 watt we have, if you multiply it by 2 hours, then answer will become 1000 watt hour, which is same as 1 kilowatt hour. Yes. Suppose we are having a heater, we are having an electric heater of 2000 watt. 2000 watt, for how many hours we can use to consume an electrical Zero point. energy of 1 unit? Minutes. Huh? Half, an hour. Half, half an hour. Half an hour. Half, half an, an hour. hour, yes. Half an hour. 2000 into half will give us 1000 watt hour. Yes, half an hour we should use. Very good. I think you understood it well, boy. Next day, I'll do some calculations on uh, energy and the bill calculation, amount of bill and all. And then after, I'll do the theory part. Okay? Thank you. When, you, when so, is your first time exam starting from? When is your first time exam starting? You all know about that, no? Sir, first time yes, was sir. last time. Oh, sorry, second, second, time. second time, second time. Yes, sir, 16th of this month. 16th September. 16th, no, 16th September. Please be aware of the uh, I mean, timetable also. Okay. And yes, please sir. Be okay, sir. Okay,